everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. As you can see, I've got another part of a huge Timu haul that I'm going to show you. And um, I've had a lot of people ask me to show them um, some canvases that I don't like or that I would send back. Because most of the time, I don't even show you those. I'm only showing you the ones that I'm keeping. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple that I am not keeping and my rationale behind that. So welcome in, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Um, if you are returning, a viewer or subscriber, I'm so happy you like my content enough to come back. If you are brand new, welcome in. I really hope you enjoy this. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Um, drop me a comment. That would be amazing. And um, if you want to subscribe, um, please hit that subscribe button. All right, here we go. And um, I am filming in the morning. I don't have a lot of sun and it is very cloudy. I think we might get a little bit of rain. So I'm going to see how the light goes. I may turn off my ring light because I want to make certain that we don't have a lot of glare. So I don't know how many we're actually going to get through today, um, but we will we will see. Okay, let me put those there because those are different ones. Okay, let me put these off to the side. And let us go ahead and start. Okay. This is a 30 by 40, and all of these are in rounds. I don't think I've really mentioned that, and I'll talk about round versus square in a minute, too. And yeah, that's a little bit glary. Not too bad, but let's bring this in a little bit. This is just a cute little kitty, a mama kitty holding her baby kitty, it looks like. And then there's a little mouse sleeping there too with them in front of a window. It's a Christmas scene. I thought it was cute. Um, this is a thinner canvas. I'm not super partial to the, um, the thin canvases. <clears throat> I'm going to turn off my ring light too. Hang on just a, just a second. Let me walk over here and see if that's better. There we go. I hope I wasn't in the picture. If I was in the picture, I will take that out. Okay. So he's just a cute little kitty. 20 colors. Standard kit. And I'm only going to show this just once unless it's something different so that you can see. And I'm going to sit down here a little bit. I actually slept really good last night. Um, it was nice for a change to sleep real good. There we go. I'll straighten this out a little bit. I thought she was really cute. I've never had a grand white cat like that. I'll have to show you a picture. I'm going to see if I can find it because the little orange and white cat reminded me. My sister has um, an orange and white kitty and um, she is, she's like the spitting image of my dog. I have um, a picture of both of them and they are so cute together. I'll see if I can find that and show you guys. If I do, um, I'll put it up here somewhere. And if I can't, I'm sorry, but I will I will try to find it. So here is this. I'm sorry, I'm digressing. I need to get going on this, huh? Here are the colors. Oops, let me get you the colors. And of course, we're gonna have a lot of whites and we're gonna have the grays for the kitties and the golds for the kitties. And of course, there's gonna be blue and some yellow and a little bit of pink for the mouse. So he's really cute. I like that one. So there's the little kitty, just the 30 by 40. 
I think it's gonna turn out real nice. And then let me get the next one. The next one is, is a fun one. This is a bigger one. Oh my gosh, I got more drills. I always have drills on the table. Let me get rid of the drills. This kind of goes with my the animal sets that I've been doing. This is a big one. This is a 40 by 70, and it's a little jungle scene. And I'm gonna pull this out and see if I can get it all in. Because this is definitely a big one. There we go. I'm gonna scan it from the top down. Look, you've got a giraffe and a parrot and an elephant, and it looks like a little tiger cub. I don't know if that's a some sort of monkey. Um, and an elephant, a zebra, a tiger, a panda. I'm not certain what that is. What is that one? Because this is the tiger down here. I'm not always good with all my cats, but all you people that are good with cats, let me know. Um, let me straighten this. Well, let me go this way. I'm going to go this way so that you can see all of it, too. And then I'm going to straighten it out. Okay. Oh, these big ones, they're, they're definitely big. Sometimes they're hard to, to straighten out. This one has 24 colors. you think that there would be more, huh? It looks more colorful than that to me. Um, it's all in letters. This will be a fun one to do. Definitely a fun one to do. Let me flip this one around. So sorry. Man, I hit I hit my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Alrighty, so here we are. Again, 24 colors, and these are all in letters. No symbols, no numbers. And I think, because I always look at the eyes. The only issue I see is maybe in the panda because of all the black that they have. You know, we might put a white drill so we can kind of see the reflection in their eye or in, in his eye. Um, the zebra, I'm not certain if we're going to be able to see an eye. I might have to, um, you know, make, make the eye a little bit better. But definitely see the elephant. We're going to see the monkey and the giraffe and this little kitty here. We're going to be able to see the bird, which is good. Um, everything looks clear. Let me just bring you up to the drill field too, so that you can see it all. I'm trying to get that glare off. Um, there's going to be patches of color blocking, and then there's going to be maybe a little patches of confetti. Like for example, let me just bring this in so you can see it a little bit. Like part of this tree here, these are all peas, all peas going up. So you're going to have a couple rows that's all going to be color blocking. And there's going to be some um, just rows of a little bit of color blocking through here. The elephant has got some color. Oops, don't have it in camera. In his trunk, there'll be color blocking. So this is really cute. Now, they really threw their drills in. Let me show you this. Look at that. They just It's just kind of a little bit of a hot mess there. But they are in the Ziploc bags. They're just, they're brilliant colors. Again, you can see from the green and the orange. Look at that purple. It's very pretty. Look at that orange. 
So it's gonna be, they're, they're gonna be real pretty. So there is that one. Let me make certain that the canvas is on it. It is. Okay, so let me get you that one. Okay, and um, I'm gonna show you one that I'm not doing, just so that you know why I'm not doing it. Actually, I've got two. Let me do this one first. Let me bring you out a little bit. Um, this one I was really hoping was going to be okay. And in some ways it is, but um, I'll, I'll tell you my thinking on it. Um, this is a Bernese Mountain Dog. And I love Bernese Mountain Dogs. I've always wanted to have one. They are just spectacular dogs. And this is what it's supposed to look like. They're tricolored, um, you know, with the, the brown, the white, and the black. And the way they've rendered this one with the coloring is they've used a lot of gray. They're using a lot of gray here in the ears and through here. It's color H, which is, which is definitely a gray. Um, it's lighter. So the rendering, as far as the colors go, I don't like. Um, could I change the colors up? Um, I could. Do I want to take the time? Nope, I don't want to take the time to figure it out. So even though this one is really, really cute, and I think that a lot of people would do it, it's really cute, um, it just isn't as realistic as what I would personally like. This is just my personal preference for this one. But I just wanted to show you one of the reasons why I send them back. Okay, so there is that one. Let me put that off to the side. And the other one, let me show you that I am not keeping and the reason why. Um, this I had my eye on for a long time. I really liked it. This is a big 30 by 80. It is... Um, a long floral design. For me, I love the colors. Let me bring this out. And I'm going to put it this way so you can see the whole thing. But it's very stretched. It's They stretch out these 30 by 70s or 40 by 70s. It's just, it's too stretched for me. And again, I think some people, you know, would like it and do it, but this is just for me that I don't like how stretched looking it is. Um, again, that's just me. And it looks actually better in the camera than it does in person with me. It's just too elongated. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. Um, let me just go ahead and get rid of this one and um and there's that one and then i'm going to show you this one's really cute too i really like this one i'm into animals look at these little puppies in the basket This one is really cute with a little umbrella. I think this is gonna turn out really cute. And look, he's got a little bow tie. I think this one will turn out super, super cute. Uh, 20 colors, I'm digressing. 20 colors, this is a thinner canvas. I don't like the thinner canvases. Um, I think it'll be fine on a 30 by 40s. Um, but in my opinion, the big ones, the big canvases, have a harder time um, accommodating the weight of the drills and they kind of flop around when you um, get the drills on. Again, just my opinion. I know a lot of people um, work those and that's just that's just me. Maybe I'm a little bit too fussy, um, but to be honest with you, when you spend, at least again, I'm speaking for me only, um, when I spend so many hours on a project, I really want it to turn out nice and not have any issues. So there is that. 
and let me show you the colors. Um, pinks and of course the peaches and greens and browns. Lots of browns for the little dogs and the cream. They're really cute. So there is that one. And let's do oh, let's do this one. I really like this one. I'm ha I'm really happy with this next one. I like it a lot. This is another big one. It's a big 40 by 70 floral. And can you kind of see the difference? Um, this one is not stretched. Um, oh, let me show you this kit. This kit comes with little baggies and it comes with two pens and a couple different multi-placers and extra wax. So that came with more. So let me show you this one. I thought it's really pretty. 24 colors. This will be really quick to do too because again, there's lots of color blocking in the, in the petals and in the butterflies. And this is a sparkly canvas. I wonder if I can catch the sparkle for you. I don't think I have, I don't think I have enough light. Well, I'll show you the drill field then. So you can kind of see it. Anyway, the, um, the canvas is sparkly. So it's pretty to look at. I guess if you diamond paint, you like the sparkle, right? I like the sparkle. But I love the pastel colors. I think it's very pretty. And the um, legend is all in letters. Oh boy, is that sticky. Wow. We got another really sticky one. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. There we go. The cover sheet is extending over, so I'm going to cut that off. Oh, I've got a, got a pair of scissors. Let me just cut that off now because that will that will drive me. Oh, check that out! I got a cover minder stuck onto my <laughs> stuck onto my scissors. Let me just cut a little a little piece off so it's not hanging out so much. Here we go, now that won't bug me. And let me show you the beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, look at that yellow. The yellow and the gold. And there's, this actually looks a little lighter in the camera, I mean in person than in the camera. So we've got kind of the beiges and the greens. But look at these colors, the pinks and the blues and the peach. Oh my goodness, look at that, tea, um, that light blue and the pink. And of course, we're gonna have a lot of black for the outlining of the butterflies. But, and here's this with the blues. They're so pretty. Colors are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So there's that one. And then, um, let me just show you. Um, this is probably gonna be controversial to some. So I'm sorry, but this is just my opinion and you can, um, like I said, it's just my opinion and you know what opinions are like. I have been looking at this one for a long time too. They're just really cute little owls. Um, it's coming out better in the camera than it is in person, but the problem I have with this, first of all, is this is um, double-sided tape, double-sided adhesive. This is not um, poured glue. And I personally don't like double-sided tape, and I will tell you why. Um, 
first of all, the double-sided tapes that I have, that like this one, oh, it stinks. It has a really, really strong odor. So for people that have sensitivities to odors, um, you may want to steer away from it. The other thing is they used to tell you that you could tell double-sided adhesive because it had a white, thick cover sheet. They're now using these, it just feels really funny. They're a real stiff um, cover sheet. I'm not gonna open this and I'll tell you why, because this is my reasoning why I don't like them. And again, I know many creators really love them and that's really great. This is just my opinion, so please don't bash me in the comments. Um, the double-sided adhesive is prone to separating and I have seen that on the couple that I have had. Um, the double-sided adhesive actually um, separates. Uh, it gets air bubbles in rivers particularly when it's exposed to air. So my suggestion is that you don't peel back your cover sheet until you are actually ready to work on it because it can form bubbles and rivers from what I'm understanding. I'm not an expert at this once it's exposed to air. Um, I got some information um, from, this is actually the Diamond Art Club website. And again, I know that this is a competitor and of course, they are gonna speak more highly of their canvases, which they do have top quality canvases. Um, but, and there's an article, and I'll link the article on it here. Um, it becomes less sticky when exposed to air. So again, you're gonna to want to work on them quickly and in just in the small sections and not expose it to air. Um, the stickiness decreases with extreme temperatures, with um, hot or cold, um, or humidity. So if you live in a high humidity area, um, you may have some issues with that. Um, so that's kind of that, that's just a few things. You can watch, there's a bunch of YouTube videos on the pros and cons of it. You can get one yourself and see if you'd like it. Like I said, a lot of creators really love these. Um, I choose not to, not to do it. But I will tell you, on the plus side, is um, they really aren't very wrinkled. I mean, usually they're not very wrinkled. This is um, more wrinkled than normal, but um, that makes it nice. The other thing I forgot to tell you, you cannot roll these backwards. If you roll them backwards, like we do with poured glue, you will create tons of rivers and air bubbles in it. So that's that. So this one I am not keeping. Just letting you know on that one. Um, the other one I'll show you just real quick. This is the same thing, and I love this canvas, except I don't really like the rendering. Um, this again is poured glue, I mean, excuse me, um, double-sided adhesive. Again, very stinky, and um, I'm not gonna keep that one. So let me get rid of those and we will go on to um, our next one let me show you the next one this is another big one oops got the sticky stuck to it this is another 40 by 70 and again I've had my eye on this one for a while and I think I don't know if Diamond Painting the Witch Cat has shown this on her channel. She usually has the beautiful um, cats. But I thought this one was really pretty. Let me just pull it out and you're going to see my mess off to the side with everything. Oh goodness, I need a bigger table or something. I'm going to try to get some of that out of the way so that you can see this. Isn't it really pretty? I love this one. And I'm gonna show it to you this way so you can get the whole thing in. And now this one, yeah, I think Kat did show this one. We talked about it, or she talked about it, because it does have like long hair. So I don't know if this is really a 
tiger or a lion or if it's a magical creature. I'm not certain exactly what it is. To me, it looks like a tiger. So I'm going to call it a tiger. Um, I love this because of the eyes. Again, the eyes, I think you're going to see really, really well. Um, the nose and the mouth, I think, is going to come out really well. Uh, there is 29 colors. And these are in letters and symbols. Oh, sorry, I jiggled you again. So there is the legend. And here is the drill filled. Someone had mentioned they like me um, going real slow over the drill field so that they can see it. And I appreciate that feedback a lot. Um, I love your feedback and your suggestions. Thank you very much for that. And just a little bit. This one I think is going to be fun to do. There is some confetti, actually, in some of the flowers. There is some color blocking. There's pieces of it, but there is a lot of confetti. And of course, everything I'm showing you is in round. Oops, I seem to not get this, these corners very well. There we go. Oops, I still didn't get it. That will drive me crazy too if it's not flat, guys. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can go on this side more. Oh, it's still a little bit messed up. I will fix that when we when we get done here. I don't want to take your time on that. So there is this beautiful cat. Again, I think it's more tiger. So there's that one. And the colors. Make sure. Oh, here are the colors. I'm grabbing the wrong ones. The colors are beautiful. Again, we've got the, the tans and the reds. Pretty burgundy. It's a darker burgundy, more beige. Again, all done in these uh, peach tones and the golds and the yellows for the cat. And of course, there's going to be black. So there is that one. Now I am at 28 minutes. So I think I'm going to do. Um, just a couple more, maybe one more. This is just a cute 30 by 30 by 30. It's a pretty butterfly. Isn't that pretty with the paint drips? Um, this one's got 24 colors, so again, very, very vibrant. Um, and they are in letters and numbers. It's going to go 1 through 9, and they are correct numbers. And one's a 1, and two's a 2. I think the manufacturers are listening to us. And there's that. And then... These are in um, the little trains. So we have the dark black, the greens, the reds, the blues. Um, and if I turn this around, you're going to see the dark blue and pinks and yellow and more yellow and burgundies. The colors are going to be very pretty. So there is that one. Should I do one more? 
Okay, you guys talked me into it. I will do one more. And boy, do I have a mess. This one I really love too. I love this one. But look at these, the sunflower. Now it looks kind of um, muddied a little bit. Whoops, I hit you again. Looks a little bit muddied again because this has guide circles. Let me straighten it out and then I will show you. So I don't think it shows as pretty because of the guide circles. Um, and the guide circles are there just to um, help you place the, the drill in the correct spot. Some people don't like it again because it does kind of make it um, a little bit more difficult to see. Um, and sometimes um, if you don't place the drill exactly correctly, you can see that guide circle. So let me just show you real quick. It has um, 25 colors, letters, and numbers, but unfortunately the numbers are not correct. Let me just show you really quick. Whoops. Go down. Oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. But the one's a one, which is great, but the number three is a two, the number three is a five, four is a seven, Five is a nine, six is an 11. So you can see that they're they're off. Um, and you can see what I'm talking about. There's the guide circles on the sevens. See the guide circles on the Cs and the ones and the twos. So you can see it's a little bit harder to read because of the circles, but I don't care. I like this, I like this um, painting a lot. I think it's just really pretty. And then when you see the colors, oh dear, they threw it all in a messy bag. But the colors are beautiful. The lavenders, the yellows. If I had more time, I'm already at 32 minutes. I'm not gonna take these out. Um, they threw the kit in there too. Okay, so that is that one. So, let me just pull this out a little bit so I'll be able to do the recap. So this is where I'm at. I didn't get to three of them and that's okay. Um, there's the sunflower. There's the butterfly. Here's my beautiful tiger with the flowers. So you can see him. I'm just gonna leave his face like that. Oops, I'm dropping them. I've got so many. Oh, goodness, goodness. And I love these flowers. I love the pastel colors. I just think the colors in this are so pretty. Again, a big 40 by 70. Here are my puppies with the with the parasol. Here's my jungle scene with all my animals. Love them. I'm just gonna leave that one like that. And then I have my kitty. Um, I also am not keeping the. Um, I'm not keeping the Bernese Mountain Dog just based on the coloring, although he really is very pretty. I do like him. I'm not keeping the double-sided adhesive, and I'm not keeping this one that is, to me, really stretched out. So I'm not keeping those. So that takes care of that, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Really appreciate you being here. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are, and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Um, that is for, oh, there's another drill. See, I find drills everywhere. My house is full of drills. So take care. Happy diamond painting, everybody. Hope you have a great day, uh, evening, whatever time you're watching. So you take care. I will talk to you on the next one. Happy diamond painting. Bye.